Erwin Schrödinger, best known for his quantum mechanics wave equation, made significant contributions to the field of physics. His thought experiment, Schrödinger's cat, is widely recognized even outside of academic circles. But what many might not know is that Schrödinger also delved into the philosophical aspects of consciousness and life. Before diving into Schrödinger's philosophical stances, it's important to understand the context of his most famous thought experiment. Schrödinger's cat is a quantum mechanics paradox, where a cat in a sealed box is simultaneously alive and dead, depending on an earlier random event, until the box is open and the cat is observed. This paradox underscores the inherent weirdness of quantum mechanics, where particles can exist in a superposition of states until observed. Beyond physics, Schrödinger was deeply interested in the nature of consciousness. In his book, What is Life?, he pondered the philosophical implications of quantum mechanics and its potential intersections with biology and consciousness. Schrödinger rejected the idea of multiplicity of consciousness. He postulated that there's a universal consciousness, and what we perceive as individual consciousnesses are merely manifestations or different perspectives of this singular consciousness. He famously stated, in truth, there is only one mind. Schrodinger was critical of strict materialism, which posits that everything, including consciousness, can be reduced to material interactions. He believed that consciousness couldn't be explained solely by atomic events in the brain, hinting at a non-material aspect of consciousness. Drawing from Vedantic philosophy, Schrodinger believed that the separation between the observer and the observed is an illusion. In essence, the act of observation is not external. The observer and the observed are one. This resonates with the quantum idea that an observer affects the observed, simply by the act of observation. Schrodinger's explorations led him to consider the potential intersection of quantum mechanics with the nature of life and consciousness. Some of the ideas that have emerged in the broader field, though not all directly from Schrodinger, include quantum brain. Some theorists have speculated that the brain operates at a quantum level, which could provide an explanation for consciousness. Quantum events in microtubules with brain neurons, as proposed by Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff, might account for consciousness. Entanglement and connection. The quantum phenomenon of entanglement, where particles become interconnected and the state of one instantaneously affects the state of the other regardless of distance, could be metaphorically extended to the interconnectedness of all things, including consciousness. While Schrödinger's musings on consciousness remain a topic of debate and speculation, they have undoubtedly seeded interest in the intersection of quantum physics, biology, and philosophy. Today, interdisciplinary fields like quantum biology are emerging, exploring the potential quantum processes in biological systems. Erwin Schrödinger's foray into the realms of consciousness is a testament to the interconnectedness of science and philosophy. His ideas challenge us to consider the deeper nature of reality and our place within it. While we have yet to fully understand the nature of consciousness, Schrödinger's philosophical contributions provide a compelling lens through which we can ponder this age-old mystery.